In Cloud Foundation, adding capacity to deployed workload domains is easily done by either adding more host to an existing cluster or by adding an additional cluster to an existing workload domain. In this video, I will show how to add a second cluster to a deployed workload domain. From the SDDC Manager dashboard, navigate to Workload Domains. Here we see there are two domains deployed the management domain and a virtual infrastructure domain named WLD01. From the summary view, we see the WLD01 domain currently has one cluster, which is comprised of four hosts. Selecting the domain, we can view details about this cluster. To add a second cluster, click Actions and select Add Cluster. Select the principal storage type that will be used by the new cluster vSAN in this example. Assign a name to the cluster. Here I will call it WLD01-Cluster02. And from the drop-down, select the VLCM desired state image. As we are using vSAN as the principal storage type, we are asked to configure the failures to tolerate and whether to enable vSAN deduplication and compression. Note that we also have the option to mount a remote vSAN data store should we want to configure a vSAN compute only cluster. We then select the host from the SDDC Manager free pool. Here I have selected three hosts, ESXi 12, 13, and 14. Identify the switch configuration for the cluster. In this example, we will use the default settings of one distributed switch with two NICs and separate port groups for the management, vMotion, and vSAN traffic. Set the VLAN ID for the NSX overlay network. Assign the vSphere license keys. Review the cluster configuration. And when ready to deploy, click Finish. A workflow is initiated to add the second cluster to the WLD01 domain. It will take approximately 30 minutes to add the cluster. As with all STDC Manager workflows, we can expand the workflow to view the subtask and track the progress as the cluster is created. Note the large number of tasks that are being performed by the STDC Manager as part of the cluster creation. We now see the WLD01 domain has two clusters, the original four node cluster and the new three node cluster that was just created. Switching to the vSphere client, we can also see our new cluster in the vCenter inventory. Remember, every cluster that is deployed as part of a Cloud Foundation domain is automatically configured as part of a NSX fabric. Switching to the NSX Manager UI and navigating to System, Fabric, and Host we see where the new cluster has been added to the NSX fabric. In this video, we saw how easy it is to add vSphere clusters to an existing Cloud Foundation domain. The SDDC Manager makes it easy to not only stand up new infrastructure, but to scale the infrastructure over time in response to ongoing fluctuations in application demand. To learn more about VMware Cloud Foundation, visit the Cloud Foundation Resource Center at core.vmware.com.